Hey guys, Malaya here at IT Supplies, and today we're gonna be printing out of the Epson Edge Print software using our Epson F570 die sublimation printer. Let's go. We've dragged our image into Epson Edge and we've put it two sides up um, as we are printing on a 24 by 100 foot roll of multi-purpose paper. So since we're going to be printing on a 8 by 10 metal, we went ahead and utilized the width of the 24 inch so that we had a copy to show you a before and after. So once this image is done printing, it's gonna cut right along the X axis. And then we're gonna be ready to prepare our metal so now our image is printed. As you can see, I need to cut it and I need to take some heat tape so I can wrap it around the metal. Just so you know a little bit about the metal, we're using item number 5881 and it's a white gloss eight by 10 metal sheet. I am peeling currently the clear film off of it because it was protecting it. I'm getting damaged. So once you pull this off, you can trash it. And now I'm gonna prepare this metal to be able to go to the heat press so we can transfer. So we use some scissors. And then I'm gonna grab our heat tape. Heat tape. And I'm gonna lay my metal right on top here. So, I have just enough on my edges. There we go. Then now I'm gonna take my heat tape. And the reason why we are doing heat tape on this metal is so that when the heat press pops up, we don't have any air that's gonna come between the paper and the metal. Because if that does happen, what you will see is what we call ghosting, where the image is doubled. So to avoid that, we use heat tape, and I'm putting on all four of my corners just because I'm so close to my edges. You don't have to use all four corners every single time. I don't do it every single time. But I have it on here, all four corners. And now I'm going to lay it right side up, just like this. But first I'm gonna grab my silicone parchment sheet. This is going to protect my heat press. So just imagine if you had any overage more than what I have, you don't want that to go on to, your, to transfer onto your heat press because it is disublimation. So I'm going to flip mine over and then I have it covering my sheet right here, as you can see. So I just use one sheet instead of two sheets. And we are going to do this at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. All right. So now my image is ready. And there you have it. Now, I left these little pieces so it's a little bit easier for you to take off, but you wanna let your image cool and then pick it up. For these purposes, I didn't let it do it. I didn't let it cool, I just ripped the paper off for you guys. I hope this video was very informative. We look forward to seeing you again. Don't forget guys, like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.